Minions, the time twist adventure, one sunny morning, the minions were busy at the lab, working for their boss, Brew. Kevin, Stuart, and Bob were tinkering with a new invention, a time machine. The minions had seen time travel in movies, and they thought it would be the perfect way to get more bananas and cause some harmless trouble. Banana. Banana. Kevin shouted, waving his arms in excitement, time travel. Bob cheered, jumping up and down, Stuart just grinned, imagining all the adventures ahead, Gru had warned them, be careful, minions. Don't mess with time, or you'll cause chaos, but of course, the minions didn't listen. With a big whoopee, they climbed into the time machine. Bob pressed a big red button, and in an instant, the machine whizzed and zoomed through a vortex, sending the minions into the past, the time machine landed with a soft thud in the middle of a prehistoric jungle. Huge dinosaurs roared in the distance, and giant ferns towered above them. The minions gasped in awe, banana? Bob asked, pointing to a big, friendly-looking dinosaur munching on leaves, banana. Kevin agreed, but before they could get closer, the ground started to shake. A massive T-Rex appeared, and the minions went running in all directions, run, shouted Stuart, his guitar swinging wildly as he sprinted, Kevin grabbed Bob's hand, and together they dashed for the time machine. But the T-Rex was fast, just as the T-Rex got close, the time machine's lights blinked again, and with a zap, the minions were whisked away to another time, this time, the minions found themselves in ancient Egypt, standing in front of the Great Pyramid. They looked around, amazed by the giant stone structures and tall, proud pharaohs in gold robes, banana. Bob squealed, spotting a giant statue shaped like a minion. The minions ran toward it, thinking it was a giant banana, but just then, they were surrounded by pyramid workers who thought they were gods. Bow before the minions, the workers cried. The minions panicked, and in their hurry, Kevin tripped and knocked over the pyramid's secret treasure chest, sending gold coins everywhere, the workers cheered, thinking it was all part of the minions' plan, oops, Kevin said with a guilty smile, but before anyone could catch them, the time machine zapped them away again, this time, the minions landed in the future. They found themselves in a sparkling, shiny city with flying cars and robots everywhere. The minions stared in awe, their mouths hanging open. Banana! Bob said, pointing to a floating banana-shaped robot, but just as they were about to touch it, a robot police officer appeared, halt. Unauthorized time travelers detected, the minions, realizing they were in trouble again, quickly jumped into the time machine, pressing buttons frantically until the machine finally took off. With a whoosh, they landed back in their own time, right in Gru's lab, Gru stood with his arms crossed, a stern look on his face, minions. He scolded. I told you not to mess with time. The minions, now safely back, looked sheepish but then burst out laughing. Time travel had been a wild adventure, and they were happy to be home, Gru sighed and shook his head. But even he couldn't help smiling. Next time, he said, let's stick to making inventions that don't involve dinosaurs, pyramids, or robots. And so, the minions learned their lesson, or at least they pretended to. Time travel? Not for them. Bananas? Always.